since I was home for Thanksgiving, we got, uh, I don't know, probably 10 inches of snow here. So since I was gone, and there was another eight inches before that hit. So my walk to the cabin got a lot longer because the plowed roads are completely done now. So this is actually the road I'm walking on, but uh, that'll be it for traffic for the year. So foot traffic only. I'll tell you what the cool thing is. I know for a fact I'm the only person for miles. Because this is the road coming in and there's nothing but my sled tracks. And that's the road heading to the cabin that I'll be walking on. And there's nothing but moose tracks. So nothing out here but moose and me so far. That's where I'm coming from. I've done about oh, probably a good half mile. How pretty is this though? Can't really beat that. Whew, gotta sit here and have a break. I'm probably a mile in. I got probably another mile and a half to go. Maybe a little less than that. Um, it's, I think it's just under two and a half miles to get back in there from where I gotta park now with all the snow. But uh, yeah, a lot of people have been asking why I don't have a snowmobile. Um, I was gonna get one. Um, I still might. But as of right now, I don't think I, I'm going to. Um, I, pretty much all the big stuff that I have to haul in is already there. So that was kind of the idea was to get everything hauled in. Um, it's not that bad pulling the sled as long as you're not pulling heavy, heavy loads. Uh, but yeah, anyways, pretty much all I got left to haul in is uh, bulk flour. You know, like flour, rice, beans, stuff in, stuff in bulk that we can have that'll last a long time. And, you know, just enough groceries that, that we know will, will last for the winter for sure. So pretty much the last thing I gotta bring in and then other than that it's pretty it's just a two and a half mile walk in and out and we don't plan on leaving much at all so pretty much be back in there and we'll have everything that we need there so this is my trail that that me and my dad cut and that's where we're going is down in there all right last quarter mile to the cabin we got a lot of snow Man, is it pretty though. Just how we left it. All right, I just got to the cabin. Everything is just how we left it. Um, it must have been blowing pretty good. We had a blizzard when I was gone, like I said, and got uh, all my wood got snow on it. And it's a four foot overhang here. Actually, it's like four and a half foot, so it must have been blowing pretty good. But I'd show you guys what I hauled in here. What I just pulled in the gun, just because you'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Uh, this is a croc that was actually Sierra's great great grandma's. So you can put our kindling and stuff in this, and that'll go right by the wood stove. Sierra and Skeeter did not come. Like I said, we have that wedding that we're going to here in a couple days. So Sierra didn't want to come for this uh, couple day trip. She's got some work stuff to do. So then after that, we will be out here till Christmas. So pretty much all, yeah, all next week, all the way through through Christmas, we'll be here. So um, I have the plumbing for our shower. And once I get that nice and hooked up, I'll show you guys how that works. Very simple very comfortable brought in some groceries potatoes because they store well and then you got to have eggs and onions and stuff like that might do an omelet or something but yeah we went home for thanksgiving and sierra's grandparents hooked us up with a bunch more stuff we got a nice little coffee pot here for making my cowboy coffee 
my other one was pretty crappy. It was just a crappy Walmart one. This one's, no, this one's heavy duty. Pretty excited about that. And uh, just a bunch of cookware and other stuff. Here's a nice, we'll melt some water in that for the dishes and whatnot. So just a lot of cool stuff like this that her grandparents had. They, they had a wood stove their, their whole life too, so a lot of hand-me-down stuff that they had laying around. Uh, ash buckets, gotta have. This is the this is the pump. It's a 12 volt pump. You know, kind of just like what you'd use for RVs. It's a trans, just a, your standard 12 volt transfer pump, and that'll be what pumps our water for our shower. And then just a bunch of a bunch of cookware and stuff, spatulas and pizza cutters, and so we are getting hooked up here. But first things first, I'm gonna rub the snowshoes in. I don't know if I'll need them. I actually I might need them when you get out, out there, but brought in some waters. But first things first, I'm gonna check the stove pipe and make sure that there's no not too much creosote in there. Knock any off if there is, because I burn nothing but pine, which which uh, creates a lot of creosote, so. I check that every time I arrive, and I'll probably check it every month from here on out just to see how much is building up. Just getting the fire going here. First thing I did when I got here was I uh, checked the pipe. For creosote, there was hardly hardly any. There's some, but not nothing to be concerned about at all. And then I added two more feet of pipe, so that got me about uh, we're probably three feet above the peak of the roof right now, which was about one foot above the peak before. And it drafted pretty good, but I can already tell with just adding that other pipe. You want to be two feet above it, above your peak, and just adding that that other uh, two foot section has already made a ton of difference. I can tell. <clears throat> well, I'm going to let this place get uh, warmed up here. I'm going to hang out, unpack, and then I'm going to probably go out and do some more firewood. It is 3.30 on December 3rd. I'm going to try to upload this video of, of me hauling all this stuff in today. We'll see if it works. Uh, last time we were able to do it, Sierra, Sierra has a little hotspot thing. And then it takes forever. It took about four hours last time, but it, but it did upload. So uh, I don't know. We don't have the, the hotspot today because she's not here, but we'll, uh, we'll see if it works or not. I'm sure. I, I think it will. It'll probably just take, I don't know, maybe five or six hours or hopefully less. Hopefully it'll be on by about eight or nine tonight.